this is Kelly from Real Pursuit Junk Journals and I've got this idea uh, was recommended to me from my friend Jessie so thank you Jessie uh, she's pretty awesome and she watched a video from uh, the YouTube channel called Scribe Vibes I'll put the link to that channel in the description below and uh, Jessie recommended that I give this one a try and so if you'd like to come along and see how I uh, put my little decorative spin on this one. Come on and let's see. So to get started, we're just gonna snip this envelope to the same width as that side. And then we are going to find a little paper to put on the inside before we, we uh, seal this and then this end is going to stay open. So let's get started on our first one. We're going to find some pretty background paper and I have this, these fun papers that I think would be really neat. Oh, look at the scissors. My cute? We'll see. We'll see how much of this we can see in our, in our window. Oh, all of that little scissors there. That's nice. That's lovely. If we can get all of it in, that would be great. So I think I'll just put some glue in there like that, and then I'll be able to see those scissors. These are nice big windows on all of these. So I kind of picked ones that I had been hoarding that have really big, nice big windows. But the smaller windows work too. I, I'm going to use my art glitter glue. I'll like put a little right in that corner. I don't think we have to worry too much about that inside corner, but we do have to worry about this edge here. Getting that all sealed up nicely. Just a little bit more in that corner. Make sure everything lays flat. Like this is a little higher than I would like so I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna trim it just like this I think I'm just gonna square this off so that it matches that side that makes the most sense to me and then when uh, to match up the other side as far as this envelope edge, because notice how this one is curved in and that one is not. So I'm just going to match them up and use the other side as a template. As long as they're, they are, you know, even with each other, then you're all good washi tape might be a nice thing to use on here got this little paper pad that i haven't used i'm trying to think oh that'd be kind of pretty on there really just want to match that the blue would be very lovely but i actually like this one the best so far so we'll just go with it we're going with it i think we'll have to end up squaring that I think I'm going to put this one on this side. That makes the most sense to me. And we'll keep all of that nice flower there. Let's figure out this edge. So I'm just going to line it up, figure out my width cut. So I'm going to pull it up so I can see a little bit more. And then I'm going to just find that spot, snip it just a little bit. And then I'm going to grab my little cutter and finish off that cut wherever I put it. Here it is. <laughs> wherever it ended up being. So match up that slit with this cutter. There we go. Which way? Which way? There you go. So then we know that fits in there. Still seems... Oh. Well, needs a little more cut off. 
Sometimes my measuring is something to be, to be desired. <laughs> and it's crooked. Straightness. Just want you to be straight, that's all. It says it's straight, but it doesn't look straight. Maybe the other one wasn't straight, and that's probably what the, the problem was. <laughs> Let's do this. Much better. Much, 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 much. Okay. So we're just going to bring that. We're going to do the same thing. Hopefully this time we mark it a little bit better. It doesn't want to slide. It's sticking. Bring it in that way. That's going to be our cut this time. How's that lining up like that? Make sure it's nice and straight. Okay, so then we can glue this down. Perfect. Now I still have this piece, so I'm gonna I'm gonna line this up, and I think that'll kind of bring it together a little bit. I'm gonna put this here, and then I'm gonna try to score it. I'm gonna use my cutter here to score. I'll use my there. That's much better. I'm using my letter opener. That created a nice score. Okay. And we'll just burnish that. And then I'm just going to glue that just like that. So I wanted to cover up those curves. So just below the curves. I don't want to cover up my, my scissors too much, which I kind of moved that scissors. I have it nicely in the window. Don't know what happened. I'm just going to glue along here a bit. There we go. Kind of center it down below that curve. Hopefully not too much glue elsewhere. And then I'm going to use this like as a little, a little template. There we go. I know I'm really addicted to using the Distress Oxide, but I'm not using it for this one. I'm not using it. Okay, so I'm just going to give this, I'm going to seal up this envelope now. I think I've done everything I want to do there. Oop, not you. And I probably want to put a little thin paper. Oh, that's really thin. It just tore when I picked it up. <laughs> That's pretty thin. All right, we'll just do some of this. Uh, cover that side. There we go. I'm gonna take that off and save it for something else. We'll just bend this line again. I where my burnishing tool is. Fingernail burnishing tool today. Okay. Glue on the flap only and then trim around it. That edge got a little out of control, so I'm just going to trim this up again. So 
that is what we have so far. It's pretty, pretty, this paper is very thick. I'm still gonna try to use a little more of this paper, mayhaps. Because I think if I use any thinner paper, it'll be kind of funky, funky fied. But there'll be different thicknesses for collaging around it. That's what I'm thinking. This is such a tiny cutter. It's so tiny. All right, where's my line? And then I'll have the sides done. And then I'll just match these up. Now we can glue both these down on each side. There we go, pretty easy. I'd rather have white showing down here than in between these two pieces. So I just made sure that was slid right up against that other collage piece and then left a little bit of that envelope edge showing. Just how I wanted it. There we go. That's very nice. And then what should we put on the bottom? Oh yeah, I like that. I'm just going kind of kind of florally today. Not very too much, you know, just random ephemera. Okay, I need you to be right there. We'll just try and cut it freehand this time. There we go. That's where I want it. And we'll leave a little bit of that envelope showing at the bottom, like we did all along there. We're going to need like a little cluster embellishment of some sort. Uh, we should be able to add some fun little things to this picked out cluster with this little, what is it? A swallow. That's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> That's a swallow. We'll just put that guy right on there. We could make this a little tiny pocket on here. We'll make it a pocket. We'll give it a try. So we're just going to do this side and this side. Ooh, that's kind of thick glue right there. And then the pocket will be kind of this direction. Put something cute in there. And then I'd like to add a little lace to it. That would be lovely. And we happen to have our fabric glue out here. I think we'll just put that right along there. Which way do we want? Hanging over that a little bit. There, then we can still kind of see that pattern that matches the other side. And then I found this little circle. So if you have like a circle punch, just glue this on there. Or a scallop punch. Don't move it around too much <laughs> till it's actually glued. Isn't that cute? Look at that. How fun. And you've got yourself a little pocket and I haven't been doing very good with letting this little corner dry. So that's one cute little style. So we can probably just jump right into another one. I'm gonna try like a, a Tim Holtz style. Try to do the width the same as that. No, this one, we'll skip that one. This is better. We'll do this one. How wide do we want that? That looks like a good width. Now, this time we can go some of this fun. Ooh, look at that. We might have to do one that's like this way. 
That's really pretty. How do we want to do this? <laughs> Make sure our glue is cooperating. I think I'm just going to do it like that and try to get it in as far as I can into that corner before it decides that it's all done and it wants to be right in that spot. Okay, there we go. We got her. Now I can shore up these edges. There we go. Very lovely. Okay. Trim that right off of there. That edge just looks like a little... There we go. It's a fun piece. I think we'll wait to do this edge until after we have glued down paper on both sides. And I think I'll just try to take maybe some of this stuff and fold it over. I don't know if I like that one. This one, too similar to that one. This one's kind of nice. Ooh, that's lovely. Right to this edge. I like at least the width to be where I want it, I think. Just decided that. How much do I want up there? Okay. So I just kind of measure to that edge. And I this side on there. Once it goes on there, then it's there. Get rid of this again. Straight across. That way everything's all evened up. I do like it when this has like a, a big divot or something to get papers in and out of it. Yeah, we're just gonna make a big... Oh no, does that work? No, not really. Why did you do that? So sometimes you do things and you think, why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. So we're just going to fix it. It's going to be brilliant. I'm going to do this side first. And it will be as good as new. New problems. Where's my little ink? I'll do a little ink situation in there. Probably won't matter because we're just going to add a little bit of this washi tape. Look at that. Looks like it's supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're doing good. Good as long as we don't mess it all up. No. <laughs> you know. How she goes. Okay, we'll do, we'll do this. I think I'm gonna get out my black ink and we're gonna do edge, you know, the black along the edges. Oops. I think you're, I just wing it most of the time. <laughs> and if you make a mistake, you just, you just fix it. It's not a big deal. That's the great thing about junk journals. And this is probably going to end up being my favorite one. So that's funny. That's usually how that happens. And for Tim Holtz style, grungy, I do like the black sometimes along there. Okay, we've got that. We're going to cover this guy up with this lovely little scrap. A little bit off this edge. Okay. 
can. I think I'm going to ink that just a little bit more along that edge. Just really make sure I'm... Get my table. Oh wait, no, the envelope. <laughs> but I am getting my my table too. That's okay. Might as well go go to town over here too. Oh, took the lace with me. Now we're gonna glue it. We're gluing it down. It's going to happen. Just kind of roll that around a little bit. So, there we go. That's pretty nice. And we still have this, not that one, this one for the top piece. Are we ready? Can we do it? Are we brave? And glue it down. We're gonna match it up and glue it down right to there. Okay, here we go. Put a little glue in my circle punch. Well, that was silly. Okay, I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit. Put that right up there. Line up our edges. Don't be like that. Okay. You can do it. Okay. And now pretty much we just get to make it up as far as our, our actual edging goes. We can really, since we're gluing it down, I'm getting so much glue all over my, my circle punch. Okay. So I'm just going to do this. Bring it right to that edge. I'm going to smear this around a little bit down here. It's a little thick. I know I don't have my, my tip on there. But I like. There we go. One step closer to this grungy envelope. Now which way did this go? This went a little there. I guess we can make that part up too. Do it about there. That's where our fold over is going to be. And then we get to fold this together. Not totally, not a hard edge fold, just just enough to kind of get that envelopey edge to it. Envelopey. <laughs> See how this goes. Which way you're going? You're going this way. Okay. Well, that's cute. That looks very nice. Very, very good. Okay. Oh, these, these little like pens on the edge. Those are cool. Frank's refrigeration. Oh, Frank. I'm going to try going. Well, let's see. I think we'll do that. Go on here. I like those pens right there. Take this to about right here. Sure, why not? Okay, give that a go. There must be some scraps that'll fit in here, not you. Here's the, you're from the same paper. Or we could just do washi tape and call it a day. We're doing it. Okay. Do a little of my new craft bond extra strength acid free glue stick. Put that right there. Yeah, 
that's a very nice compliment. We'll just swirl it around and wrap it around the bottom because we can. There we go. What else do we have on this roll? Just do this light stuff, or we could do a black and white. Or this. I feel like that's really similar. And I already used that one. Okay, this is this is the one then. Hopefully. It looks okay. Because we're doing it. Ooh. Tore it a little bit shorter than I wanted. And I don't think I put glue on there. So you know. Okay, we're coming down here. We'll just make sure. Here, extra, extra. Just like me, extra, extra. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I'm just gonna fill that in. A little more ink. There we go. That looks cute. Now we need a people. Some kind of people. So I had to do a lot of digging through things to find some items that I thought would go uh, well on here. So not to not to mislead or anything, but I did spend like a good 20 minutes trying to figure out where I wanted to place everything on here. And I don't want to say, oh, look at what I just put together instantaneously because I really didn't. But sometimes, you know, it takes a little bit longer to make it just the way you want it and find the piece just the way you like it. And sometimes everything goes together really fast. It just... It just depends. And this fellow right here, his name is uh, Sam, Sam Hopkins. He is a relative of mine. <laughs> and uh, actually one of my digitals as well. I did ink this up a little bit too. I found this one and I thought it was just a little too stark on there, which maybe it isn't, but I added some tea to it. Well, actually I inked it with my Oh, I thought this was a different one. But anyway, with my brush corduroy, which is probably what I was looking for. And I did some little splotches with the stamp. And then when you apply water to it, it gives it a neat little matte effect. So I used the tea instead, and then it still gave it that nice little matte effect. Just make it a little kind of grungy-ish. So I'm gonna glue that down. But I like that. Hopefully I'm not going to cover up too much of these cute little pens that I think are adorable. And then I'll just put this later. I put a little of that deckle edge on, on um, the number as well. It just looked a little too crisp for me. Too crisp. Less crisp I wanted. <laughs> and then a butterfly. And it's not a sticker. It is just a die cut. We'll put a little butterfly in the corner. Isn't that nice? Yeah, see? That's pretty cute. Pretty cute. And then I found this little, I thought it was a cigar. So who knows? And But isn't that nice for my little half tab? Yeah, I'm excited about that one. We'll do it a little bit. A little less than halfway up is what I like to glue those down. I like that a lot. You could put a little something something down here as well if you wanted to. I pulled out some stamps but I wasn't really thrilled. And then that one is done. Hopefully not. Did I glue it shut? Hopefully not. Oh no. But I didn't glue it this side so that's pretty funny because I do have to glue this side. That's important. Just a little smoothed out. I don't know. You probably can't see any of that. It's a little closer to that. Not close to the edge. A little in. More in word than I would have liked. And I will let that dry. Because I try to start stuffing stuff in there. And then it never works out. These, they kind of take me a little bit longer. 
than I would have liked for some kind of a project, but they are really cute. So, you know, it's up to you. If you like to do something that's really, you know, over the top, it's got a lot of zhuzh to it, then these are really nice. What a little, maybe that needs to go there. Isn't that nice? That's even better. Okay, we're doing it. It's happening. I like to get pretty generous with my fabric glue. That right over the top. Yeah, that's really nice. Ooh, I love these. Okay. <laughs> So sometimes spending a little time to make something really fabulous is better than making 20 just okay. So that I think is the lesson for today. <laughs> All right. Well, as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.